Hello all, Havoc here. So in this episode I thought we would go ahead and look at getting this thing under its own power. So first things first, I want to look at making... Oh, I didn't get that antenna rotated. Derp. Um, I want to get some fuel into this thing. So let's come over here and take a look. Let's look at the mining real quick while we're over here. Eat. Eat that. Just numb. Come on. No, you want to. Come on. <laughs> there it goes. Nom, nom, nom. So this is getting pretty cavernous in here. It's looking pretty awesome. Missed a little bit. That's fine. If it misses some, we'll come back and clean it up. It's the fact that it's doing all this work for us and... We're not having to. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. If I stand there, I usually get hurt. So let's come over here. Um, let's see here. So production. Arc fuel. Let's make 200. So we need uranium and magnesium. I don't know if we have any magnesium. Um, um, let's see here. Manganese. Oh yeah, here we go, we got some. So we'll throw this over here. And then let's grab some uranium. Wow, that produces fast. Okay, so wow. Okay, so it's one to a hundred. So one production is a hundred units. All right, so <laughs> let's just take these fifteen hundred. Can we take that fifteen hundred? Yeah, okay. And we'll go throw it in the arc furnace or arc furnace arc reactor and get this ship under its own power. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go give it a spin, shall we? I think it's gonna be drastically underpowered, and so what I want to do is uh, I'll probably go to the uh, modular thrusters. You guys were saying you use the Sage thruster. They're just way too big. Um, I just think they're unpractically large, um, at least for a ship this size. Thrusters uh, groups. No. Okay. Um, let's go here. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Large ion thruster. You, you, and you. Turn those all on. I don't know why that's a different color. That's weird. Let's take a look. Um, this could be a problem. No third person view. Alright, so we have to manually go outside and check because our third person view is not working from there. So we need to make sure all our thrusters are on. And 
once we do that. Ah. My mouse stopped working there for a second. Alright, so that all looks good. That one's on. Let's get up here. And. Okay. So they all look good. We'll climb in here back again. This is going to be super sketchy without a third person view. Um, think about just moving the chair just for now. Nah, we'll do it. G. Um, all blocks. Actually, wrong button. Let's go in here. Merge. Toggle those off. That's probably why we didn't have a third person view. Yeah, that was why we didn't have a third person view. Alright, well, on the plus side, it appears to be moving a lot better than I anticipated, actually. It is slow, but like you guys pointed out, there's plenty of room to where I could put two thrusters in there. Um, and if we did that, we could definitely uh, double our rate of acceleration, in it, which isn't bad right now. So, let's see, let's take a look around here. Um, I'll just give it some yaw. It doesn't. Um, we have gyros, right? Uh, let's go back to K. Gyroscopes too. <laughs> uh, they don't have any power. We cannot turn the ship at all. Oh, there it goes. Super slow. All right. Let's get a little bit further out. There we go. I just want to be clear of uh, any obstruction. So let's give it some more roll again. See if it'll turn. Yeah, it's turning very slow. Okay, so we definitely need more gyroscopes. I'm going to guess about four to six more at least. Man, that's crazy. All right, so we can bring that back in now. So it's going to take us a good deal of time for us to turn around, so that's not going to work either. Um, Let's see here. How do we want to do this? Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to run down and put some gyros in the rear deck and let the uh, nanites build them real quick and then we'll turn it around and put them where we want to because I'm pretty sure they won't reach the front. Actually, let's give them a shot. Let's give them the opportunity to prove us wrong. So, G, we don't need these. Gyroscope. And, oh, here they go, right here. So let's put. Let's go with the yellow. There we, there we go. the way I wanted it to be. So if we do three there, let's do four on each side. So we'll have a total of eight gyros now. Oh, they do reach. All right, fantastic. Wait, why am I doing that? All I wanted to do is change the color, and so I'm grinding it down. That's funny. Way to go, Havoc. All right. Ah, again, wrong. All right. So 
So let these go ahead and get welded up. And that'll uh, allow us to be a lot more agile. Are you going to make it over there? Uh, right down. Th nope, we made it. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Now, how do we look? Okay, nope. Still don't have enough. That's, let's see, how many we got done now? Okay. So we do have eight, all, all eight are done, and it's just not enough power. So we definitely need to add some more. Because we're rolling right now. It's just so slow. All right, so I do want to see if we can nose it in now, though. Now that we have a little bit more power to it. So let's see here. It doesn't really do too bad once it gets moving, but it still feels really sluggish for its size. Wanted to make sure we we're hundred percent clear. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's yeah, it moves pretty good once it gets mo moving. It's just a matter of it takes so long for it to get turned. Let's see. I have to make this so much wider for this thing to fit in proper. All right, let's see here. We need to start looking at a proper way to get in and out as well. Because in theory we would be docking into it and we wouldn't really worry about it too much, but and how are we gonna fit on that side? Well it's alright. Let's move up a little bit. Hmm. Actually I want to check the down acceleration, so let's pull back a little bit. There we go. So let's fire downward. That's not too bad. And it seems like all directions are about equal thrust, so... Overall, not too bad. I mean, you know, it does need more power, though. So I'm going to go um, between this episode and next. Um, we're definitely going to add the modular thrusters. Let's climb out. We're going to add the modular thrusters, and we're also going to um, reconfigure a lot of the blocks that they're going to be inherited, inherently touching. Um, like, so that rear section where the nacelles are, we're going to change that up. Man, it's not even close to enough. Um, yeah, we don't have those gyro boosters in here either, so we'll have to install those, and then... We'll place those along this line, right where the assembler uh, door is. And then we'll place uh, two gyros on each one, I believe it is. I don't know, it's been a while since we used those. Um, so those are going to need to get installed, because we're going to run out of room if we don't. We just have way too many gyros on board. Alright, so... Alright. We're definitely making progress though. It's nice seeing this thing on its own power. How much fuel did we use? Oh, barely scratched it. That's cool. So some magnesium and uranium on board and we're gonna make a metric butt ton of that stuff. 
and we'll be able to just make that on the fly. So that was a good call for you guys pointing out. We have the assembler, we have the refinery. Just go with the arc for reactor. All right, so this I think is looking pretty good. I had some comments about the red. So let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so let's go with the, maybe a darker color. Actually, I think that looks much better. Hmm. Let's go a little bit more. Too much, maybe? All right, because um, the individual I was talking to uh, said that, you know, we're, how we were talking about looking at a rust color red and how the hues and values in Space Engineers just don't really allow for that. But um, actually, I think this looks much better than what we had. So before and after, I think uh, option, this new option is pretty good. And so um, let me know in the comments which one you like better. I'm going to leave it to where it... Actually, let's go to outside where the uh, armor blocks and stuff are. And let's take a look there. Oh, yeah, that looks much better, I think. Oh, I clipped that post. Yeah, I think that looks way better. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think it looks better. Um, option 1 or Option 2. And uh, we'll go from there. If you guys like Option 2, I'll go through and repaint all the red into the new option. Or I'll go back and paint back to Option 1. So, either way. So, we're going to wrap up the episode here today. Um, i got some uh, a lot of tinkering to do with mods getting installed and stuff. So thanks for watching me, everybody. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It's really helping my channel grow. And uh, yeah, so this is Havoc. Have fun. Keep gaming.